Hello and welcome to another C Sharp coding homework exercise for Windows Forms. In this one we are going to create a simple distance calculator using loops. It is uh, calculated that the distance equals speed multiplied by time. So uh, for example if the vehicle travels 40 miles per hour for 3 hours then the distance traveled is 40 times 3 which is 120 miles. So we are to make an application that allows the user to enter vehicle speed and the number of hours traveled into text boxes. And when the user clicks the calculate button, the application should use a loop to display in a list box the distance the vehicle traveled for each hour of that time period. So I recreated the form, very simple, two text boxes, one for speed, one for hours traveled. The user clicks calculate button and we will display the speed, I mean the distance in every hour that the user traveled. For example, if the user traveled uh, three hours in 40 miles an hour speed, then we will display uh, the vehicle traveled in the first hour uh, 40 miles, in the second hour it was 80 miles, and in the three, uh, third hours it was uh, 120 miles, for the total of 120 miles, of course. Okay, so um, I'm going to double click the calculate button and let's start coding and it's just gonna be fairly simple. Um, the first thing I'm going to declare some variables. I'm going to dec declare an integer speed that's the input from the user. Another integer hours that's another input from the user speed and hours. And integer distance which is the obviously the distance that we are going to calculate. Now we'll do the uh, input validation to make sure that the user entered actual integers so we will do a simple if statement and use integer dot try parse so integer try parse and the first we'll check the txt speed dot text so we are checking the text in the text box whether it is actual number and can be parsed as an integer and if so then we will output the value from the text box into a variable speed. And the second one we will do is obviously our uh, hours. So we'll do integer dot try parse and the text box is txt hours dot text and every, everything validates then we will have our uh, output. We will have the text uh, saved in a variable hours. So if uh, user entered everything correctly, then we'll proceed with the calculation. Otherwise, we will simply display a message box telling the user that the input was invalid. So we will say, please enter valid uh, numbers. Oops, valid numbers, like that. And the text box or the text that displays in the message box will simply say invalid input. So that's if the user didn't enter correct input for one or both of those text boxes. But if so, if everything's okay, then we can proceed and cal calculate the distance and display it in the, um, in the list box. So obviously we are going to loop through the number of hours that the user entered. So for the best loop for that would be a for loop. So uh, integer equals integer i uh, equals zero. That's loops iterate starting from zero. Although in this case it probably would be better to start from one because we don't have a, an input of hours of zero. I mean that wouldn't make any sense to travel zero hours. So yeah, we can start from one in this case. Although normally you would definitely start from zero. But for our purposes, for this uh, particular uh, exercise and to simplify the output in the list box, we'll start from zero because, I mean from one, because that's going to be the first hour. We don't have an hour zero. So i is less than hours. Now this would work if, the, if we started to iterate from zero. You go up to whatever the hours are. Let's say if the user entered three, hours 
then we would iterate 0, 1, and 2 together, 0, 1, and 2, that's three iterations. In this case, we go all the way to the hours because we start from 1, so we need to include the number 3 as well, so we start 1, 2, and 3. So that's why we have to have less than or equal to hours. And I++. Plus plus. And we will simply calculate the distance, so distance equals speed multiplied by the hours, and the hours in our loop is uh, represented by the uh, i integer. So for every hour the distance changes, so the first hour speed multiplied by 1, second hour speed multiplied by 2, third hour speed multiplied by 3. That, that will equal the distance. And now we can output the distance into our list box. So list box output that items that add, and we can format it something like after hour one, which would be I, the vehicle traveled, and now we will output. Now we will output the. Uh, distance, how many miles, so if, again if it's 3 hours and 40 miles an hour it will be after hour 1 the vehicle traveled 40 miles so it will do distance dot to string and let's format it to to a number and after that we can also add the word miles so basically it will be after hour 1 the vehicle traveled 40 miles. And then we go to another loop uh, where i equals 2 and it will say after hour 2 the vehicle traveled and the distance will change to uh, 40 times 2 that would make it obviously 80 miles and then the last one number 3 would make it 120 miles. So let's uh, test it. So if I travel 40 miles an hour for 3 hours after hour one, the vehicle traveled 40 miles. After hour two, vehicle traveled 80, and after three, 120. Now, if I make it, let's say, uh, 45, then it says after hour one, vehicle traveled 45, then 90, and then uh, 135 miles per hour. What we can do, so we don't have the previous input, I mean previous outputs still uh, uh, sitting in the list box. Every time we click the button, we can clear. The, uh, the list box. So the first thing we'll do is the list output that items that clear. That will clear the text box. I mean, sorry, the list box every time the user clicks the calculate button. So we can test that easily. Again, it's the same result. Let's make it 45 and see that the previous output is gone and we have only the newest output displayed. Okay, so uh, this is the exercise. I hope it was helpful and I will see you in the next video. Take care.